The thing is, <laughs> I think we're going to have to get rid of the Rome 2 trombone. No. No! <laughs> Hello, and welcome to number 11 in the episode list of Rally Point. We are continuing the Rome 2 information in an unending forward march, which is funny because the people who marched through Tudorburg Forest got dead. They died. They did get very dead. That's terrible. Yeah, it is. Should we go into incredible depth and detail as to why those Roman legions got kicked in by a bunch of locals? Yes, let's do that. Yes. Um, we've been to Munich itself to catch up with Jamie and Pav at a press event. Uh, but we haven't been to Munich. You went to Munich and left me behind. I've been to Munich to catch up with Jamie and Pav. The Battle of Teutoburg Forest took place in uh, 9 AD and uh, it was a German rebellion uh, by a gentleman named Arminius uh, in proto-German, apparently something like Erminaz might have been his real name, and uh, he destroyed three entire legions of Roman soldiers under the leadership of a gentleman named Varus. There are deployables that can be used uh, uh, by people who have managed to set up their uh, attacking point uh, in the campaign game, and also uh, something that will get used in the historic battle. And if you place them in the right place and roll them down a hill, you can cause all sorts of carnage. It's a it's a dark uh, dark forest. Uh, it's kind of uh, rumbling thunder and uh, shafts of light. It's it's a it's a really really interesting environment to work on because it's the first the first chance we get to show a natural environment in Rome too. Carthage was obviously a city. Um, so it was just great to basically finally show off our trees and, uh, and the terrain work that we've been doing. Uh, most notably the terrain features like the cliffs and the boulders uh, that we've not really done before so much in, uh, in Total War games. We're really kind of pushing um, these uh, terrain features uh, in our maps to really, really make them feel epic and, 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 and realistic, more so than, than before. So while we did have the exciting Tutorberg information there, Indeed. we also managed to catch up with some of the fight performers who've been doing the business on the Tutorberg battle itself. It was great before when we did Gangnam Style to show you guys the facility and what we can do with motion capture, but now that Tutorberg Forest is a battle that you have seen, we thought it'd be super cool to show you the animators that brought it together, the people that did the fighting, the people it, that actually hit each other. It's less Roman dancing and more actual information, so maybe you'll appreciate it. We're still sorry for Gangnam Style. Motion capture really means that we can get realistic looking animations and we can make them feel um, brutal. Motion capture is where a, an actor would wear a suit with reflective balls on, surrounded by a load of cameras. The cameras would then pick up the movement and position of those balls. It would then interpret that into 3D space. A lot of the animation design is done by the animation team itself. The design team will give us an idea of what they're after, and then we go to work generally with the fight performers if it's something very specific. You just try stuff out in the motion capture studio using crash pads and wooden uh, shields or plastic swords and things like that. I work with the entire animation team. I get in and start working with them long before shoot starts, start working out what they require, what's needed and how it all fits together. <laughs> we do a bunch of takes, go through it back at the studio to see which ones look best or which ones we might be able to work with and we animate on top of that, or someone had a great fall and it looked really hard and maybe they did get a little bit hurt from it, but you know, no pain, no gain. We will use that and animate the beginning part of it by hand. It's relatively dangerous. We are fighting, we are using swords. There is every chance that something goes wrong. In uh, one of the Empire shoots, I dislocated my shoulder and in one of the subsequent Empire shoots I was stabbed with a real sword. 
but we are trained professionals, we know what we're doing, and all the choreography is designed to minimise that. Some of the challenges are um, making the choreography fit the beginning and end stances in the game, so we're giving a, a beginning situation and end situation, and have to come up with lots of options in between. For Rome 2, we're currently on about 150 different fights. From the moment you get up to the moment you go to bed, it's just full-on fighting, falling, punching, kicking, stabbing, slashing, smacking. It's brilliant. That's episode 11. That's pretty much it. However, before yes. we go, there is one more thing. To celebrate Shogun 2 Gold coming out a couple of weeks ago, we took to the internets to fight you, the very best and very sharpest of our internet communities. It was decided that I was just a bit too good yeah, we, uh, to play. So. We decided that just due to Craig's just horrendously mad skills, yep. that it would be unfair to unleash him upon the community. Look at these fingers. Yeah. They're war fingers. War fingers. Thank you for watching again. Um, we'll be back for episode 12 pretty soon. Yes. Until then, peace out.